today i'll talk about gauge pressure calculation for multi fluid manometer now here the water in a tank pressurized by air and pressure is measured by multi fluid manometer as shown in this picture so now we have to calculate the gauge pressure of the air in the tank what will be the gauge pressure here now all other data are given so here the air is there in the tank and bottom the water is there so air density is 1.13 kg per meter cube water spg means specific gravity is given 1 and then uh, the height uh, from here to here so that is 1.2 meter height from that surface of the water to the top of the tank so that is 1.5 meter now here uh, the distance from here to here so that is 1.4 meter and then from here to here so that is something 1.6 meter and that one limb uh, of this multi-fluid manometer is open to atmosphere now we have to calculate gauge pressure okay so here that uh, here this manometric liquid is a oil that specific gravity is given 0 0.85 here that uh, marker is there so marker specific gravity 13.6 now we have to calculate what will be the gauge pressure now first here so we assume that that is the pg gauge that pg pg is the pressure okay we will uh, we will uh, take uh, whether it is gauge or not so we will we'll see in that later so here that uh, the pressure is here so that will transmit in that uh, instrument so the pressure at this point is pg now what will be the pressure at this point so pressure will be so if we go downward so you have to add the uh, uh, that add means whatever pressure uh, due to this air so we have to add so height is 1.5 so if we go from here to here so pressure will increase so pressure at this point so pg plus h air plus rho air into g so h air is 1.5 meter rho air is 1.13 and g is 9.81 so total will be pg plus if we do the calculation so pg plus 16.63 now pressure at this point again we are going downward direction so again uh, so whatever pressure is there so we have to add uh, due to this water height so pv will be here pa plus h water plus rho water into g so pa is nothing but pg plus 16.63 plus h water is 1.2 rho water the density of the water is 1000 into 9.8 so that will be pg will be uh, sorry pv will be pg plus 11788.63 now what will be the pressure at this point now if we draw the horizontal line so pressure will be same in that horizontal reference line as one fluid means water is a continuous means the same fluid so whatever pressure will be here so same pressure will be here so we can write pd uh, okay so pd is equal to pv so pd is equal to pv is uh, something same uh, that is pg plus 1178863 so now this point again if we draw the horizontal line from this so uh, if you consider this fluid so again pressure will be same in the horizontal reference line as a one fluid continuous so here oil is continuous so what will be pressure is here so same pressure will be here so that will be p means pd is equal to p so pd p is equal to pd is equal to pv is equal to uh, that pa uh, plus h water uh, that is there so uh, here uh, that will be same thing pg plus 1178863 okay now here that pressure is pg plus 1178863 now what will be the pressure at this point pressure at this point will be again we are going down so you have to add that so uh, due to this oil that there will be some pressure so pf will be p plus h oil into rho oil into g so that is pg plus 1178863 plus h oil uh, height is 1.4 into p oil 0 0.85 into 1000 into 9.81 so pg plus 23462.53 so here pf uh, that is pg plus 23462.53 now that same reference line pressure will be same in the horizontal reference line as one fluid continuous that marker is continuous okay so uh, the pressure will be same so pf is equal to pc so uh, that we already calculate uh, that pf so pc will be pg plus 2346253 now we are going upward direction so pressure will decrease so we have to uh, take negative so here ph will be 
PC minus H mercury plus rho mercury into G. So PC is nothing but PG plus 23462.53 minus 1.6. So this side is 1.6 into 13.6 into 1000. So that is the mercury density into 9.8. So that will give PG minus 19003.07. So that the pressure is nothing but because this is open to atmosphere. So that is nothing but P atm. So uh, we got uh, that here PG uh, as we are considering P atm. So PG absolute will be P atm plus now if you uh, that PG will be P atm plus 19003 So we also know that P absolute is nothing but P gauge pressure plus P atm atmospheric pressure. So from here so P gauge pressure will be P absolute minus P atm. So if we discard P atm so P gauge pressure will be 19 triple not 3.07 Pascal. So that is nothing but 190 kilopascal. So finally, P gauge pressure will be 190 kilopascal. That's it. Thank you.